everyone today i received a box for my quadcopter jjr cx 5 c previously i had a cyma x 5 c which um, was stuck in a tree so i i had to order a new one so this time i went ahead and uh, got a jjr c h 5 c so let's go ahead and unbox this JJRC H5C4 channel digital quadcopter. Uh, this copter is basically similar to the one Saima X5C, just the difference in price. And two things are more one is the one press automatic return, so I'm gonna definitely try this one how it works and perform on one touch return. And it also has a headless mode. So irrespective of the orientation, it's gonna fly the way you want it to be based on the stick direction you move. So I'll open it and see what's the content of the box. Here you go. This is the manual. We'll come back to it later. This is the box with a quadcopter. Let's open it. We have the actual quadcopter, which is very lightweight. You see, it's similar to X5C Saima. Here's the controller. I like the color. I used to have a black one, but this is something different. It's nice and plastic is good. The material looks really well. We have extra propellers. A USB cable, a screwdriver, and the quadcopter stand. Maybe here's the camera. It's a two megapixel camera with 720p HD image and video capturing. So there's one battery which is uh, 600 milliamp hour it's gonna last almost I guess uh, five to seven minutes of flight time and one hour of charge time there's the USB you can transfer your videos to the to computer and there's one card SD card which is two gigs so it's gonna capture a, a good amount of video I got a 4 gigs with the uh, Saima X5C though. So all in all, it looks a good buy if you if you count two additional features which are one touch return and headless mode which was not there in X5C. Okay, so I'm going to put together all the parts for my JJRC H5C. So first I'm going to install the camera and let's let's do it see this is a wire connection cable to hook up the camera with the quadcopter so let's do that as well right so that's also done let's put the battery and see how it performs I'm gonna put the SD card in the slot. And there you go. Alright, so I'm gonna install some battery in my controller now. Let's first go over the controller. So here's the throttle key. You see, it's the left hand throttle. This is the direction key forward, backward, left, right. This is the on off switch, light indicator. These are the trim keys and this is power key I guess and this one is the headless mode. 
says CF so you press and it's gonna go into headless mode this one is auto to return one button and this is for video this is for photo these are I guess for 360 degree flips so let's put the battery and see some action there you go it's on let's you see this one has two red and green lights the red ones are the front ones and the green ones are the rear ones so let's go ahead see how it performs That's all folks, thanks for watching my video and do subscribe and like it if you like my unboxing video. I'll put up a review later on and I'll go outdoor flying so let's see how it goes. Goodbye.